Hey guys, Chris here from Top Puck, and today I wanted to show you a cheap and easy way to clean your bearings. So first thing you gotta do, take apart your skates. To use this tool as a bearing pusher, you just take one of the sides, insert it into the wheel like so, just press. It pops the bearing out. Okay, now what you don't want to do is you don't want to take WD-40 and spray them on here and put them back in your wheels. That's bad for two reasons. One, WD-40 attracts moisture and it will eventually rust your bearings. I know they say it's a moisture cleaner and yada yada yada, but it's not. WD-40 is a bad bearing lubricant for rollerblades. Um, you can use any kind of uh, speed cream for skateboard bearings, any kind of lubricant like that. Um, what I like to use is this. silicone spray. Why has he got automatic transmission fluid you might ask, right? This is the best stuff, the cheapest stuff for the money. Automatic transmission fluid has excellent cleaning properties. That's why they use it in automatic transmissions. Okay, this is an old Gatorade bottle. Still got a little bit of Gatorade in it. No big deal. Take your ATF. Pour it in the Gatorade bottle like that. And remember that this is not Gatorade, so don't drink it. Give him a good shake. Get all of that ATF in there, going through the bearings. Just let it sit for about 10 minutes. Just leave it here on the table for about 10 minutes, then come back to it, and I'll show you how to clean the rest. Okay, now it's time to get our bearings. Okay, now we get our bearings out, right? Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take each bearing and kind of give it a little bit of a spin, see how they feel. They should spin very freely with no friction. See, this one has friction to it. So I'm going to rub it across, try and get some motion out of it. Try and get that stuff to work on in there and free it up. Now a lot of people are going to say, oh look at that rag, it's so dirty. How does he expect to have clean bearings when he's using a dirty rag? Well listen, the first time that you put these into your wheel, the wheel is dirty, the skate is dirty, outside is dirty, the air is dirty. This rag that you have on your table, that's just protecting my table to keep my table from getting dirty. I really don't care about it too, too much. This is real quick and dirty. You just want to do this every six months or so just to prolong the life of your bearings. So we take our uh, silicone spray, just spray the bearings. Give them some spins. Okay, so it's been roughly 20 minutes. I've uh, rotated my bearings a couple of times. Got them all nice and dry, nice and smooth. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and put them back together, back into our wheels, and uh, see how they perform. Oh no, I'm missing a bearing, where'd it go? Make sure you keep track of all your stuff. If you lose one of these bearings or one of these spacers, you're in a lot of trouble because you have to buy a whole package to get this stuff. You can't just go to the store and be like, I need one spacer, please. They're going to be like, buy a new one. So the way that you put the bearings together, you snap in a bearing on one side like that, turn it over, you see the hollow side, put your spacer in like that. Your spacer will go through the bearing. It sits in there. You put your last bearing on top of it like that, press it in. As you can see, I've got my skates back together and they're a world better. I mean, they, they're not quite as loud. They spin a lot better. I think that these bearings for uh, 
I mean, I think I spent less than $6 on my bearing cleaning kit, and it took me a half an hour, and these are cheap ABEC 5 bearings, and they're ready to go. And uh, you can catch this video and all of our other how-to videos at toppuck.com.